will see to it that you are suitably rewarded for your efforts, Doctor. And I will be content only when I feel that I've made the right decision in bringing you here. I am still skeptical of what the return of Theadion means for this world. All in good time. First, there is someone we need to meet. F1F1. He leads a robot-run laboratory, making tremendous breakthroughs to study Dayuga energy. I must return to the ship at once. Follow me. Commander, who is this Theadion? Zavalia, will you explain? It's part of an ancient Zyball legend. Long ago, when the planet belonged to the old reptiles, we Zyball made our homes underground and in caves. Not all of the old reptiles were savages. Some were intelligent. You mean the Vigilants? Yes. They gave us land, taught us to farm, and protected us from other reptiles. Eventually, Zyball became the first great civilization. There are mystics who said the Vigilants were actually cosmic entities controlling the minds of certain reptiles. One such mystic was named Theadion. His followers claim that he was able to control reptiles just as the Vigilance did. He used his reptile body to gain power and destroy his adversaries. Eventually, the other Vigilance joined forces to defeat Theadion. According to the legend, since he died as a reptile and not in his own body, his mind still remains eternally suspended between matter and spirit. And he's been unable to return to a physical form. Until Trellis discovered him. It seemed at first to be unlikely that a mechanical interface could access Tayuga energies, but Dr. Trellis's experiments have proven to be a missing connection in our own studies. With further guidance from the Vigilance, this may prove to be a most enlightening development, both for robot and humanoid alike. It's what appear we have some intruders. The Adeon. I am Commander Vrabe Navoga. My family is descended from the Ninth House of Zyval. To this day, we tell the legend of your stand against the oppressive reptile vigilance. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Navoga. I no longer hold any resentment towards the vigilance. I am sorry I misled the Zyval. I can see that it's going to take a lot of work to repair the damage my influence caused. Your brainwashed slaves, for example. You are merely imitating my thirst for power. That's why I've returned, actually. To gain redemption from the Vigilance, by restoring civilization and initiating their return. You're going to bring them back? But they'll just manipulate us again. We're about to fulfill the plan that the Vigilance set in motion millions of years ago. The old reptiles were the only creatures with minds receptive to Tauga energies. Yet they were too crude and monstrous to be of much use to the Vigilance. So they led the Zyball out of their caves and allowed them to have a civilization that would one day lead to robot intelligence. Which is why we are here in F1F1's laboratory. The technology we've developed coupled with Dr. Trellis' knowledge of the Tayuga Sphere has given us the power to transplant the Vigilance into new bodies. Not clunky giant reptiles, but sophisticated artificial humanoid hosts. And of what interest are they to you, robot? We've worked out a deal, Vrib. Trading spirit for matter. The robots built us new shapes to walk the Earth, and in return, we will grant them access to the Taugosphere. And I suppose you'll remain on the Earth to enslave our people again. Trellis has fulfilled our plan for humanity. Now that we have practical vessels to wear, we will depart the Earth and explore the cosmos. The Aedion shall remain here in Valden to secure the prosperity of your people. 
Oh, it will be a pleasure serving you. <laughs> objective here is complete, Frabe. You may continue your role as commander. Or if you wish to go back to living in a cave, you are free to do so. Free? Perhaps it is because my view of freedom has only been from a distance, but it seems that it is not always a thing to be desired. Keep learning, Vander. A world of infinite complexity awaits your newfound senses. I am eager to see what robot kind will make of it and what you can teach the rest of us. Edward, Clarence, you and the other patients will be transferred to a local facility. The Vigilants are leaving the planet in a few days and have invited me to join their exploration. It has always been a dream of mine. Then I will stay here at F1 F1's laboratory. I'm interested in the research they are doing. Your own choice, Vander? You've adapted quickly to free will. The decision feels appropriate, given my background. By what criteria do you assess your choices? Well, I have always simply done what felt right to me. Some try to control everyone. Some are merely seeking personal gain. Others grow weary of struggle and need to escape. I think now is the time to make an escape of my own. Are you ready, Trellis? Ready. Mm -hmm.